relocated, who stole the bag, and where the mobile phones have gone. I've seen that could have been caught in the rain and did you know, the build the build. They don't think it's, at, it's on camera. They call the police and deal with it that way. But it's very effective to use. Very effective to use. I had a guy um, in Dudley, who's a big chap. We're going downstairs, and it came to, well, what are you going to do, big man? You know, and, and he says, don't get trying to pick me up and take me out at the venue. I said, I don't work like that. I'm working, I, I don't work like that. I wouldn't, um, but he had an entourage with him. Mm. If something had happened, I would have got seriously hurt. There was my colleagues were there, but we were way out of numbers. about 20 of them. A sort of a gang thing going on. I don't know what it was. I uh, wanted to pull my ear pierce and I said, hey, behave yourself. And I raised my voice slightly, not to scare him, but just to use the right tone of voice. Uh, and the next thing, you know, he said, what are you going to do, big man? He's looking at me and I said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, all right? I'll tell you what, what's going to happen. He goes, what, what, what's going to happen? He <laughs> changed his tone. So he's looking at, and I know what he wants. He wants a physical intervention. And I didn't want to give it him. So I don't give people what they want. So I said to him, I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to get a bit closer to you in a moment, and it's going to go off. And he was excited with that. You could see, his, you know, his eyes, you know, some, you know, I take notes of people's physiology when I'm talking to him. So his eyes kind of lit up, yeah. And I said, you know, it's going to go off, yeah? And you know what? We might get hurt. And some of you